Hi Preps, welcome to Remote Learning 2.0, um, Art with Mrs O. So, I'm going to show you how to do the germ painting um, that involves blowing ink or watered down paint or food dye. So I'm going to show you how to use um, the paint, food dye or ink, depending on what you've got at home. So I'm going to show you some options and how to make the germ character. So I did record a video before, but it didn't work. So this is my second try. Um, we've got watered down paint here. So I just bought this poster paint from Woolworths and I added water to it and then just mixed it with a brush to make a watery paint solution. Um, I've also got the food dye that you can buy from the supermarket or mum might have in her cupboard. Um, it's this stuff here, the little food dye drops, they come in little bottles and it's to colour the icing on the cakes or donuts and other sweets. Um, so it was a fairly dark colour and what I've done is just added water to it to make it a little bit more yeah, watery and a bit lighter in colour. And then we've also got this bottle here that's been in the art room and it's called fun dye, which is the same as food dye, but it's been a lot of water's been added to it so that it's lighter. So I've got that one here as well. It's a blue one. So I've got blue, red, and green. I'm going to try the poster paint solution first just to show you how that works. And got my brush here. It's got a little bit of red on it, but it shouldn't matter. I'm going to put a blob of paint. I'm just going to move this computer down so you can see. I'm going to put a blob of the green water down paint here. Nice big circle puddle in the middle. And I'm even going to add like just some little sort of spread some little lines out in the edges there to make the little wiggly legs of the germ character or germ creature. And then I'm going to get the straw and I'm going to put the straw down so that it's close to the blob but that it's not touching the blob. And I might just move that down a little bit more. And I'm going to blow into the straw and hopefully this little blob will stretch out. Oh, there we go. And you can see that if I keep blowing that, it'll go even further. Okay, my advice is to wear an art smock and to put something down on the table to protect it because the paint just went on the table. Um, and you can move the page around. You can see some little sort of lines coming out of that as well. It looks really nice. Okay, so that was the watered down paint. That's how that one worked. And now I'm going to grab the food dye. So it was this one here. And this time I might actually just use a syringe. Um, it's got a little bit of blue in this one because I used this one earlier, but um, this is just a baby Panadol syringe for like your medicine. Um, so I'm just going to add a little droplet here and it's probably going to be a mixture of red and blue. What colour do you think that'll make? See if you can guess that one. Red and blue makes purple. So purple is the answer. Um, and you can actually spread that out a little bit as well. I'm just going to Spread this out like that and put it back in the right container and then once again blowing those little lines out using the straw. It actually made a nice dark blue colour different to the bottle but it's not purple. You can blow as much as you want, you can make new lines if you want more like that. You can make little lines going up here, almost like a tree. Okay, and then the last one I'm going to try is the fun dye bottle, which was this one here that's got watered down ink in it. So I'll use the paintbrush for that one. It's got a little bit of green on my paintbrush, but let's mix it with a bit of the blue. Oops. Put a blob there, add some, some little lines, edges there, and all right. So 
So I'm going to get my straw once again and blow out. Oh, that one's got a nice dark colour. Different effect to the others. So if you've got paint and food dye, you could try um, what each one does. You might like one material more than the other, one type of ink or paint more than the other. And so once you've done that bit, it's a good idea to let the paint dry before you draw over the top of it. Um, but because I don't want to pause the video, I'm just going to show you what the next bit would next bit would be. So once the creatures are dry, you can add squiggly lines in between those lines that you made by blowing into the straw. So I hope you can see those squiggly lines. I've got a little droplet coming down there. You can also make some zigzaggy lines. They don't all have to be wriggly. Whatever type of lines you want. Maybe you'd like some straight lines. Okay. So you could do that to every creature. And you can also draw some eyes onto paper. So I'm just going to draw some eyes on paper now. And a mouth. I don't know if you can see that there. Um, and then you could actually cut them out and stick them on. So you've got a few options. I'm just going to show you the finish work sample I did earlier. I recorded it and um, it seemed to work. So that's my eyes and mouths glued on. So I drew them onto paper, cut them out, glued them on. And there are the squiggly lines. So hope you enjoyed my art tutorial and good luck with making your germ creatures. Thanks for watching my video. Bye.